Hey guys, it's Gina from Southern Siren Vintage, and this is my Vlogmas for today. Normally, I do shorts, and I had something else planned to do for today's Vlogmas, but this is important information, and I wanted to get it out there because it's, I feel it's of a timely manner. Uh, so, this matter is for all my reseller friends and anybody at all that list on any selling platform, whether it be eBay, Etsy, Mercari, Amazon, Marketplace, your own website, wherever you resell items, I feel this is important information for you and I wanted to make sure I got it to you as quickly as I heard about it. <clears throat> It doesn't affect me as of right now, so that's good, but um, I just wanted to make sure that you guys found out in case it does affect you. So, what I'm talking about is something, some information that I got today. Um, hold on, I gotta get some coffee. My throat is so dry, but I just found out that... There is, well, at least a couple of lawsuits going on for people that are reselling certain items. And there's no warning whatsoever. There's no cease and desist letter. There's no Vero strike. There's nothing. It literally is, you are served through email. You get an email saying that you are being sued by this company are these companies, there's a couple of them, uh, and that's it. And you have three weeks to respond, either hire a lawyer and go back to these people, or for you to respond with, you know, whatever, how much money you're going to end up paying them or whatever. And <clears throat> the items that are included in, I'm having to hold my phone, so please <laughs> bear with me if it shakes a little bit. Um, the items that are included in one, or the item that's included in one of these lawsuits, I'm not going to say the names of the items because I don't want any issues or trouble. I can't afford hundreds of thousands of dollars. So, I'm just going to give you a generic description I think you'll clue in on what I'm talking about by the descriptions I'm giving. So the first one I'm going to be talking about is, you know the little symbols that we use when we're texting and we're chatting? All the little, you know, like faces and all the cute little pictures and stuff that we like to use in our chats and stuff? It starts with an E, if you know where I'm going with this. I don't even want to use that word. Um, so it was one of those in particular... Now, I don't know if it's all of those that's an issue or not, but from what I can understand, I'm getting this second hand, but from what I understand, this person, it's not somebody I know, but it's this person sold an item with one of those little pictures on it. It was licensed. They had bought it secondhand somewhere, a garage sale thrift store, whatever it was. I don't know where they got it, but they it was licensed. But they sold it on, I believe, eBay. And it's not the problem with selling it because it's not fake. It's not been, you know, it's, it's licensed. The problem was that they used their brand, their terminology, their trademark, whatever, and selling it in their description, in their title, in whatever, in their listing. And because they used that, they are now being sued because it caused harm to the company, to the brand. So, that being said, yes, you can sell those items. However, how are you going to list those items on any platform where people can find them without a descriptive term of it? It would be very difficult for somebody to find that item, right? Right. So, 
that was one of the items. The second item that I know of that there's been an issue with recently is the little accessories that people put on their cell phone cases or on their cell phones that they stick to the back of them to help them hold it. You know what I'm talking about. The little thing you stick on the back and you can kind of slide your finger in. Da, 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 da. I'm not going to say the words. It's two words. I think you know where I'm going with it. Hopefully. I guess that was an issue as well for someone. So, if you have any of those kinds of items currently listed, or you're thinking of listing, don't do it, first of all. If you have them currently listed, go now and pull those off. Whatever platform you have them on, pull them. Because do you really want to go through the chance of financial ruin over a $10, $15 item and have to spend tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of dollars to protect yourself? I don't think you do. I know I wouldn't. I would be pulling it so fast, it would be making everybody's head spin. Like I said, currently, I don't have any of those items, so I don't have to worry about it. But it does bring to question, at least in my mind, if the, they are able to successfully sue these individuals, these, you know, small sellers, if they're successful, does that not just open up a whole new can of worms? What item is going to be next that's going to be, you know, that we shouldn't be touching? And there's no warning. There was no Vero warning. There was no cease and desist letter. There was nothing to say, hey, you're not allowed to do this. It was just open up an email and you're being sued. That's frightening. Very frightening. So... Also, from what I can understand, the courts have allowed, I guess, the attorneys sent uh, documentation to the court, and they were pressing to have anybody that was named as a defendant in this lawsuit, at least one of them, um, they wanted the court to essentially force them and any company they're associated with, any platform, any financial institution, anything that they're associated with to open up their information to be supplied to the attorneys. That means financial documents. That means pretty much anything to do with your bank account, how much money you have, when money came in, where did it come from? Anything like that. You're selling history. Everything that you have listed or sold, plus anything that you have currently for sale. All of that. All your information. Plus, if you have people working for you, doing these things, like listing for you, whatever. If they're listed as an employee of yours, they have access to their information as well. This is frightening. This is very frightening to me. I don't feel like, you know, I'm sure the person I'm talking about, they didn't feel like they were doing anything wrong. They had no idea. And now they're facing this. It could happen to any of us. It could literally mean the end of reselling. At least in my eyes. Maybe I'm just being pessimistic. I don't know. But to think that that is even, there's a semblance of that happening, I mean, it's just frightening. So even if you don't resell for a living, like a lot of us do, even if you just put something on every once in a blue moon, it's like, oh, I've got this shirt that I don't wear anymore. Maybe I'll throw it on a platform and try to sell it. And you have no idea that one item could be your financial ruin. 
Is this not terrifying? So, anyway, I just want to put the information out there because I felt like when I get information like that, I feel like I need to share it with everyone else because I want you protected. I don't want this to happen to anyone else. I don't want for you to wake up one morning and find a lawsuit in your email, right? So, please, if you have anything like that listed, even if you're not sure of the company, whatever, just take it down. It is not worth it. It is better to be safe than sorry. Believe me. You know, and I don't know of any way you can really fight it at this point. Hopefully somebody is going to come up with something, but as of right now, your hands are tied. So, fingers crossed. You don't have anything listed like that. Fingers crossed. It's not going to be far reaching to where other th other companies start doing it. I don't know. I think a lot is going to rely on what happens with these cases. If they win, then I can see there could be issues in the future. So, again, I hope that our court systems can look into this and see what it is and recognize that, you know, this is not some billion dollar company that's selling knockoff stuff because that's not what it is. It's individuals like us that's just trying to make, you know, a little money off items that we've purchased. So, again, you can list the items. You can sell the items. Just don't use their names. Don't use a logo. Don't use anything trademarked at all to do it. But good luck getting anybody to see your listing and find it if that's what they're looking for. There's still items right now listed. I just looked a little while ago. Listed on eBay using those words and... I am literally going back and forth in my head about contacting, messaging these sellers, these small sellers, and letting them know what's going on. It's nobody I know, but I would hope somebody would do that for me. So, again, I just wanted to put it out there in the universe so you guys know and can protect yourself if you do have something like that. And... Again, you know, protect yourself, please. Go pull it down. It's not worth it. So, again, this is not something that I want to talk about today. Nothing. It's not something I want to even think about today. And I had something else set up for my Vlogmas, which I'll use for tomorrow on my shorts. But I felt like this needed to go out there. Because even if you're not full-time... Like I said, if you list one item every six months and it's one of those items, you could be in jeopardy. So, please protect yourself. And I'll give you a heads up if I hear anything else of what's going on. But it's scary, guys. It's scary. So, hate to, you know, be Debbie Downer, but sometimes information is valuable. And if you get nothing else from my whole Vlogmas series this year, hopefully, if nothing else, you will take away that, you know, maybe protection if you've got something like that listed. So, I can't think of a better gift to give you. Anyway, I'm going to close it here because I'm gonna, my mind's going to be just racing about this for the next few days anyway. So, like I said, if I hear anything else, I will let you know. If I hear of any more companies that are doing this, I'll let you know. But right now, that's the two I have heard of today, recently. And I want to get it out there to you. Um, make sure you're subscribed to me if you're not already. Because I do share this out. You know, I do a lot of goofy stuff. I do funny stuff. I do sales and all that. But... When I get information that helps resellers, I do try to put it out there. 
in hopes that I reach somebody that may not have heard. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button if you don't mind. And have a great rest of your evening. Stay safe, stay blessed, and stay kind. Stay safe. Get rid of those listings, guys. And I will see you tomorrow with my Vlogmas. Until then, guys, have a great night. And thanks for watching.